Welcome to the July 15th, 2024 regularly scheduled Board of Education meeting. If you could take a minute to silence your cell phone and then join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Secretary Hatfield, can you take roll, please? Absolutely. Uh, President Rausch? Here. Vice President McFarland is not here. Uh, Secretary Hatfield is present. Treasurer Lauterbach? Here. Member Blazy? Here. Member Ringgold? Here. Member Horowitz is not here. Thank you. So we have a quorum. <coughs> we'll go to agenda item number two, which is the consent agenda. Item 2.1, our approval of the minutes from the June 13th. 2024 regular meeting as well as the June 13th 2024 closed session item 2.2 the below staff have excuse me the below staff are being recommended for hire as listed in the agenda packet item 2.3 are teachers attaining <coughs> attaining tenure status Item 2.4, the below staff announced their resignation effective on the dates listed in your agenda packet. Item 2.5, our approval of the payment of the school systems bills for the month of May 2024 as listed in the check registers prepared by Ms. Holderby in the total amount of $13,632,399 which is recommended. The distribution of obligations by fund is included in the documentation. And item 2.6, our approval, approval is requested to authorize legal payments to the below list of professional legal fees, um, which are listed in your agenda packet. Take a motion for approval of items 2.1 through 2.6. I move approval of the consent agenda. Support. Motion by Lauterbach, support by Hatfield. Any discussion or questions? All in favor of approving items 2.1 through 2.6 say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item three, Board of Education Matters presentation to the board. Item 3.1, follow up to last month, so this one is for action. Tax resolution for 24-25, Brian. Thank you, President Rausch, I appreciate it. Um, the numbers that you are gonna be seeing this evening in this tax resolution are identical to the numbers that we asked you to approve at the June Board of Education meeting, so there are no changes. Um, there is a bunch of fancy resolution language, but within there, there are four numbers that I'd like to call your attention to. The first tax rate we're asking you to approve is our 18 mills on our non-homestead property. Um, I skipped down a bullet point to our hold harmless millage, which came in this year through the state provided calculation documents at 0 0.3885 mills. There's also a commercial personal property rate that comes in at 6.3885 mills. That comes from a formula where commercial personal property is based off of the 18 mill non-homestead they're exempt from the first 12 mills, but not the hold harmless giving your 6.3885. And then on the second page of the tax resolution, you'll see our 2015 bond initiative, um, which came in at 2.95 mills. So through a roll call vote this evening, if I do have your authorization, this will allow me to send a couple of forms, one to the state called the L4029, another one called form 5609, which is our hold harmless millage rate, and also our authorizing resolution to the county equalization director. So um, this evening, this has historically been a roll call vote, and we would appreciate your action on making these tax rates official for all jurisdictions outside of the city of Midland, which you approved during the June Board of Education meeting. Thanks, Brian. You're Let's welcome. Take a motion for item 3.1, the tax resolution. So moved. Second. Motion by Lauterbach, support by Ringgold. Any further, sorry, any further discussion or questions? Nope. All right, John, can you do a roll call vote, please? Absolutely. <clears throat> President Rausch? Yes. Vice uh, Secretary Hatfield is a yes. Treasurer Lauterbach? Yes. 
Member Blazy? Yes. Member Ringel? Yes. All right, unanimous. Thank you. Item 3.2 for action or superintendent goals. Um, so in front of you, um, which I had sent out previous, uh, actually last month, um, for information are the goals uh, pursuant to the superintendent's contract that I drafted with Penny. So just kind of read a little bit of background about how we did this. So when Penny and I met to discuss her evaluation, which we approved last month, we also discussed her performance objectives for the upcoming school year 24-25. When developing those, we considered several factors in input. The first was commu the community input provided during the superintendent search process. So remember this packet, the profile report um, that HYA put together for us. The second was the student um, growth and achievement data, which I believe, Brian, you presented to us back in February. And then other district priorities, most notably facility assessment and, and planning process, which was presented to the board back in December. Uh, this discussion and analysis led to the development of three performance objectives for the 24-25 school year. And those include increasing student growth and achievement with a focus specifically on English language arts for grades three, four, and five, which is goal number one in the, in the packet in front of you. Second was leadership of the district facility planning process leading to a successful facility bond proposal. And then third, um, was high visibility and engagement throughout the school community. <clears throat> Each performance objective has success measures and evidence that will be reviewed to determine attainment of performance objectives by the end of the 24-25 school year. The performance objectives have been shared with the board and um, deliberated on those performance objectives. Given that, I'll accept a motion for the agenda item 3.2, the superintendent's performance objectives for the 24-25 school years. So moved. Support. Motion by Lauterbach, support by Ringel. Uh, any further discussion or input on the goals? Here's a question for Penny. You feel comfortable with them? I do. Uh, you know, the process was collaborative. I think we're in a good spot. This is a new endeavor for us in this district uh, with the superintendent having goals like this. So uh, I think this will be an interesting year for us to navigate this process. I want to ensure that um, the clarity in this document and as we work, uh, I think is important in our relationship so that we're clear about what success looks like. And we're going to move forward. Excellent. Thank you for asking. Thank you. I, I will add, um, just kind of build on what Penny had just talked about, the um, student growth and achievement data, I think collectively between Penny and I, she and I felt that that was the most important thing. Um, you know, we are the Board of Education and we are here to educate students and make sure that they achieve. Um, when she put together the assist, the assessment for how to measure success, she reached out to MDE, um, the Michigan Department of Education, and their um, data specialist on how to measure student growth. And there was, you know, in, in the interest of transparency, there was a lot of pushback on using student data as a performance measure. Uh, I think this is a very innovative place for districts um, and in full transparency over the last two years if we would have used the goal the the aggressive goals that Penny has set in this document there would have been no merit paid out um, so I think they're very aggressive goals and I think that this is an opportunity for us to collectively show leadership and appreciate the work that has gone into setting these goals um, to be innovative and, and push the boundaries to really achieve this, the growth and achievement that we want to see in our students. So, good. All right. 
Any other questions or clarification? All in favor of approving item 3.2, the superintendent goals, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Motion carries. Item four is Bill, could I just chime in quick, a Go little ahead. out of order? Uh, just so you all know, we'll post those goals on the website alongside the evaluation. <clears throat> Excuse me, just uh, for the sake of transparency. So we'll get those up tomorrow. So item four is request to address the board. Um, I don't have anybody that signed up ahead of time, so I'll open the floor now. Is there anybody to address? Thanks for joining us. Hello, thank you for allowing me to speak. I'm, my name's Ian Lundquist. I'm a second year teacher at Dow High and assistant softball coach. Uh, for the varsity team at Dow High. I was just coming here tonight, uh, coming here after two years of seeing things and want to try to help maybe be a solution. I'm um, coming from Alpena where the community had to get very involved in athletics to see some improvements to grounds and stuff. Um, I come here to, to discuss not just Dow High, but talking with, it's probably primarily gonna be baseball, softball related, but talking to the coaches at both schools, the run down facilities in both places. The fields are at Midland High, you have an incline of about 12 inches. At Dow High, our softball field has a decline of almost two feet from right field to left field. Um, it becomes an issue of, sa we have the safety issues there with with that. Um, the lack of, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be jumping around a little bit trying to get everything. Uh, the lack of storage we have our, like for us at Dow High the coaches store our equipment in in our trucks to be able to get it to the fields because we have a five foot storage room um, just in I come to try to help be a solution how to get the, in the community private help whatever type of help we can do um, I just a couple of other things like we're very appreciative at Dow High we got a new fence for the JV team but at the same time, there's a tree sticking out the side of it where roots are all out in the outfield. We have uh, all bright landscaping coming tomorrow to kind of get a quote to see how we can fix our fields because they are concrete. Um, even with the new materials, they, with the lack of water, we don't have a consistent water source. We don't have sprinklers, which comparing the two schools, middle and high does, we're, and we don't. We know once clay starts to harden, it's like concrete and it's became an un it's an unsafe playing surface. Um, and then just, uh, I'm sorry, my phone <laughs> went off. And then the, those are just a couple of things. And I want to be involved because in Alpena, we didn't have a lot of money through the school district, but we had booster groups that went out and tried to fundraise and help out with this. And that's what I'd like to be involved with here if there's a possibility of doing something like that. Um, and the last thing I, I don't want to, trying too much but just the differences between baseball uh, and I bring it up because the parents have brought this up the issue of t title nine the baseball fields have sprinklers at Dow High they have batting cages we don't um, we have a portable batting cage that's on the side of a hill um, and we ask about those things and we're told we don't know if we want to do anything because we might be putting in new fields for you guys we want to help. We, uh, the coaching staffs, we want to be involved, help out, and do what we can to help improve the fields thank at you. both schools. So thank you very much. And thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. We'll, uh, we'll follow up with you. And look to Penny for how best. Anybody else? Thanks for coming. All right, item five is facilities, or excuse me, finance facilities and operations. Um, I'll just note that we did not meet in July, correct? Correct. Item 5.1 for action, asbestos abatement. Brian. Thanks, sir. Uh, we solicited quotes and provided a tabulation in your board packet for you. This was for asbestos abatement related to our flooring replacement projects in terms of renovating 
rooms over at the Carpenter Pre-Primary Center in preparation for additional preschool program slots. We recommend issue a purchase order to Quality Environmental Services of Beaverton, Michigan for the grand total of $36,370 and capital improvement funds will be utilized for this service. Thanks, Brian. Take a motion for item 5.1. So moved. Support. Motion by Lauterbach, support by Ringgold. Any further discussion or questions? So are we still classifying this as a service or is this a contractor? It's, it's a service. Because in the school code, if it touches or has to do with the building, it has to follow that procedure. So I don't, I'm happy that it's here, that, that we can vote on it because I think it's the right thing to do. I, but I'm I, not really following Brad. I don't think it's a service. I think it's a contractor that we would have to follow contracting rules versus a service. In all transparency, I'm repeating language that we've had in the board packets for years and years and years. Anytime I grab asbestos, I grab before. I'm happy to look into this for you, Brad. Okay. Um, either way, um, it's a contracted service that we procure. So um, if the language needs checking, I can definitely follow up on that. We can make amendments if we need to in the future. Okay. Okay. I think the, the point, Brian, is whether it's, if it is, I know we call it a service. Right. If it is something to do with the building, it's subject to competitive bidding. Since the asbestos is being abated from inside the structure, I understand. It's kind of like construction. So, I, I, if you could just clarify, you just get yes, yeah, I'm, I'm get with an you. Opinion but we, on whether we have to our board procedures allow us when it comes to any sort of construction or whatever, we can go out, we can competitively bid, we can get quotes, etc. And we did solicit quotes for this. But he so he got three bids for this one, anyways. Right? Yep. But I'll, I'll check on the language. We'll make sure we're in alignment. No problem. Noting the one action item, any other? Yep. Can we table this until we find out? I mean, is it so urgent that it has to be done before yes. the next meeting? Yes. Yeah. We need to get this place up and running. Well, they actually started. I mean, yep. they're, yeah. they're already working on it. All right. So, so I, I, I agree now. with you that we could, but we can't. So as a point of clarification, uh, chime in here if I'm misspeaking. Certainly. This is the one that I reached out to you all about yep. uh, and asked if there were any concerns because we needed to move forward given the timeline. Mm -hmm. And my communication to you indicated that we were treating this as a service that per our past practice and policy, it didn't require us to bring this to you, but we typically had and indicated to you all that since we were still aligned with policy, we were gonna move forward in the spirit of time, making sure that that facility could be ready for uh, the school year to start. So this has come back to you as a more of a formality, but yes, Brad, you are correct. It's the work has started. So I think that, just wanna double check that the classification of a service, I think changes when you get into the details of it, when okay. it has to do with what John yep. said and when our we're touching and altering the yeah. buildings. We'll absolutely follow we have up to go on that. that other okay. path. That's, yep. that's fine. Yep. Thank you. All in favor of approving item 5.1, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Item 5.2 for information gifts totaling $8,540.58. Brian. Thank you. For information only, we would like to extend our gratitude for the 10 gifts, as you stated, totaling $8,540.58. They cover a wide range of items, including supports for athletics, the arts, and also robotics programs. Per tradition, all donors will be recognized on the broadcast credits and also through board correspondence. Thanks, Brian. Uh, item six, human resources. Note that we did not meet, uh, or there were no subcommittee meetings meetings since the last board meeting item 6.1 for information brian yep, he's gonna you got this one this. yep thank you um the board and staff would like to extend their deepest sympathies to the family of patricia rutherford who passed away on may 31st 2024 
Patricia was employed by MPS as the lead secretary for the Instructional Media and Tech Center and retired in 1998 with 25 years of service. Thank you, Brian. Item seven, correspondence to and from the Board of Education for information, letters from the Board of Education to the following uh, organizations and individuals listed in the agenda packet. Item eight, our scheduled activities for information. Um, 8.1, regular meetings as listed in the agenda packet, noting that the next regular regularly scheduled meeting is August 19th at 7 p.m. Item 9, study session discussion. Um, item 9.1, are there any points of clarification from any of the board members? Okay. Item number 9.2, Penny. Hope you're all having a great summer. Uh, it's audit week, so our business office is hopping. Of course, they've been working hard in preparation for this. Uh, so uh, reports to you as those become available about that process, but just extending gratitude to our business team uh, for the work they do in preparing. Uh, with our next meeting being August 19th, that is the week we welcome students back. So <laughs> we are, you know, it's mid-July. We're in full swing for preparations for the upcoming school year. Uh, you'll receive invitations to our opening session. I think you've received one already to the new teacher orientation luncheon. I know those are, um, hope you can attend, but also recognize you have constraints on your time. Uh, so we are, we are excited getting ready for the next school year. That's all I have, thank you. Great, thank you. Item number 10 is a uh, closed session for consultation with legal counsel regarding pending litigation as permitted under MCL 15.268, section 8E. Can I get a motion to go into closed session? I make a motion to go into closed session to discuss uh, pending litigation as permitted under MCL 15.268, section 8E. I support. Motion right. by Hatfield, support by Lauterbach. All right. John, Time can for you... roll call. Yep. Uh, President Rausch? Yes. Vice President Mc... um, McFarland's not here. Secretary Hatfield is a yes. Uh, Treasurer Lauterbach? Yes. Member Blazy? Yes. Member Ringgold? Yes. All right. And just to let the public know, you're welcome to come back afterwards, but we don't have any other items listed on the agenda so it will only be to come back and hear us adjourn so up to you as to whether or not you stay but you have to leave for closed session so thank you for your attendance tonight Okay, we are now in open session. So I have a motion to adjourn from John. I'll support that. Support. Any opposed? Stand adjourned. <laughs>